Hey guys, what's up? So it's Juicy here and I have never done a favorites video on YouTube before and these are videos that I actually enjoy watching on YouTube. So I decided to do my own this time around and I'm sorry if I look weird looking at the camera because I'm trying to look at myself in the mirror and look at the camera at the same time. The first thing we're going to talk about is skincare products that I've been using and loving. This might look a little crazy but this is the African black soap and African black soap is not black it's brown like the authentic one so this is what it looks like uh, I don't know if it's in but that's what it looks like and this was actually a big bar but I gave a half of it to Shrika and this is what I'm down to so I use this on my face and lather it up or whatever and I also use this. This is the Equate Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. This is like Walmart brand of the St. Ives Apricot Scrub. I just feel like the beads in this one are a little bit more abrasive than the ones from St. Ives. I don't know. I just like to extremely exfoliate. So I use these two in conjunction along with the Game Changer. Game Changer spin brush no this is not vanity planet no this is not whoever planet okay this is come <laughs> right aid brand this is the right aid renewal advanced cleaning system kit and it's supposed to be like a um, knockoff version of the old day professional pro x advanced cleansing system so this is how it comes this was about $20 20 to 22 dollars from Rite Aid and it pretty much comes with everything that the Vanity Planet um, kit comes with. Mine will probably might look a little crazy because I just used it and it also comes with these extra brushes. So this is the body brush, this is the face polishing brush and this is the pumice stone for your foot. I haven't used that yet and I think I need to because my foot is getting a little bit this is definitely a favorite i did a video with this on my snapchat and i mean i get messages on my snap but this was like so much traffic to come through or whatever so yeah and a lot of people have complimented me on my skin stating that you know it's flawless it's really not dope but this definitely cleared up a lot of the dark spots that were like here on my face and like my previous videos you would see that i was talking about that but anyways this is a definite phase y'all need to go moving along so the next phase skincare thing this is finally finished i actually have an empty i finished products i'm trying to change my ways y'all i'm trying to stop buying stuff before i finish them but i i finished this finished it this is the tree hut shade sugar body scrub the scent is amazon peaky it smells so good and i like to use this after i use like the near hair removal thing and i use this all over my body i use this before i go see my boo bang <laughs> just get just do it like y'all gonna thank me after just do it the scent is sweet love and this if y'all know me, y'all know my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works is Pink Chiffon. I always pair that with teas. This smells just like Pink Chiffon for a fraction of the price. This was like $4 or something like that. So, just get it. Dove Dry Spray Clear Tone Skin Renew. So, I'm rocking long sleeve today, but... This, I can honestly say, like, I've used other scents in this one, but this is the clear tone one, so it's supposed to, like, I guess, fix your skin color back, you know, underneath your underarms. And I will insert a picture to show you guys my underarms. I know it's kind of weird, but I'm going to just show y'all something. Before this, my underarms were dark. I don't know. I just have, like, hyperpigmentation anytime I shave or, um my skin gets irritated and stuff like that blame my father but yeah this definitely has lightened up my underarms a little bit more and um yeah just basic exfoliating as well a 
underneath there it, it helps restore skin to its natural tone and i feel like it has been helping with that so this is a phase so now we can get to makeup stuff i don't know how i feel about black radiance products i use black radiance in like all of my videos but these are definitely where it's at these are the black radiance pressed powders my color is creamy beige this is the first one that i owned it's like oh, <laughs> this is in the color creamy beige and this is in rich mahogany i use this to contour i use it today right here mm -hmm. these are only 4.99 from rite aid walgreens cvs if you live in a predominantly white state like where i live at pennsylvania you won't find black radiance here so you would have to order it online i go to new york and when i see these i just pick them up whenever i need to re-up or whatever they match my skin perfectly when i don't want to wear any makeup or anything of that nature this is what i will put on like i will moisturize my skin first and then i just use my skin color to just kind of even out stuff like my little blemish or whatever the case might be and i'll use this just to look a little bit i guess put together moving along now to highlight mac double definition extra, extra dimension skin finish i'm gonna slow this down in the video i'm gonna, I'm gonna do a slow-mo for this just i'm gonna just do a slow-mo because all right this was given to me by my aunt Manifa and she was basically decluttering her life. <sighs> She's so extra. But um, I'm happy she did it. She gave me this highlight to use because she said it's too light for her because my aunt is darker than me. And this is the highlight that I have on today. This is the only highlight that I have on today. I didn't mix it. I didn't do anything. And like, come on. This... This is still in stock because my aunt, she's like an avid Mac buyer and I don't know if these are old or not, but it works for me. So I'll list this in the bottom so you can get your hands on it. But this highlight is really everything. Like, oh. And the thing is, I don't got money for Mac. I mean, no, no, I don't got money for Mac. So shout out to her. This highlight is everything. Y'all know I love a good highlight. You know, I love it. I love to show that glow like yo i'm over you over this over everyone my girl is on fake the nyx tame and frame tinted brow pomade my eyebrows is not going nowhere they're not going anywhere only thing i'm upset about i got the color brunette and i wish i would have got the color espresso but it still works for me This pomade doesn't go anywhere. Like I said, you can sweat, your eyebrows are still there. You can go out dance, your eyebrows are still there. Oh, you can hug somebody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> your eyebrows are still there. So this is worth the money. I got this from Ulta. Uh, like I said, I just wish I would have got it in the darker color because this color is a little bit light. Setting sprays, Pixie by Peach or Glow Mist. This is the green bottle one, obviously. <laughs> this one I really love. The thing what I love about this setting spray is the fact that if you are a person that loves your powders, like your Sasha Buttercups, your Laura Mercier's, your Maybelline's, or whatever, this really tones down the powder. If you like to use a lot of powders, like if you're baking and everything, this setting spray will definitely calm down that powdery cake face look this setting spray will make everything kind of mesh together i wouldn't recommend this for extremely oily girls i'm pretty much combination skin like normal too oily like that or sometimes i'm normal too dry i feel like i'm just combination skin but that's another story but this will seriously calm down powder on your face so you won't look too like I just went like that and threw powder on my face if you get what I'm saying. 
this is everything this i went out on a limb y'all and i bought it because the hype was too real the l'oreal infallible pro spray and set so i don't know if y'all could tell or anything <coughs> your girl has been going to the gym and um so one day i wore this on top of my bb cream and i was sweating everything i'm a person i do sweat a lot and i had sprayed this on before obviously and my bb cream actually lasted it was you know of course it was a little bit like able to move around and stuff because of the sweat but this definitely kept my makeup in place um does it not transfer with this definitely not this definitely doesn't cause your makeup to not transfer but it has long lasting power if you get what i'm saying it makes your makeup stay on a lot longer so try these two before we get into it concealers i'm loving the maybelline fit me concealer in 35d i use this in my instagram daddy video and i'm also loving it in conjunction with the la girl pro beige la girl pro concealer in pure beige yeah that's what it is these two I don't make, I don't know. Okay, this y'all seen in my videos a lot. But this, um, it's so creamy, so easy to blend out. It is like, it's everything. Like, this is just like everything. <laughs> just go on and buy it, okay? Okay. Written nail polishes right now. This color is called Romantic Dream. And it's by Kiss Gel. I really do love this polish. I love the color. That's the main thing. I just had it on my nose last week. But I think I'm going to go back to it for the start of next week. <laughs> but the consistency is great. It's not too, it's not tacky. And it actually does last long. I don't know if it has anything to do with the base coat that I used underneath it and the top coat. But this is a fave. Lipstick combos. That's a favorite right now. Y'all can see it on my Instagram, my Snapchat. It's these two. It's Beeper and Jordana's 12 Hour Made to Last Eyeshadow Pencil in Tenacious Brown. I use this as my lip liner. That's what I'm wearing today. And Beeper. These two. Right her right here. What that looks like. These two are my faves. Favorite lip combo right now. Y'all know I love the nice moody brownish lip and a newfound fave are these lashes that i'm wearing i got them from ricky's i went to new york last weekend and i finally got a chance to make a purchase in the ricky store let me zoom up that's what they look like and it comes in this package package ricky care backstage and these were on sale for three dollars $3.74 and it's the number 42 lashes and yeah and I think that's about it for my favorite thank you guys so much so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm gonna try to put out like other videos besides other than doing makeup um, well they're gonna still have something to do with makeup but um, the best friend tag video is gonna go up August 18th on Shaprika's birthday, and yeah, I have some other challenge videos that I'm gonna put up too. So stay tuned for those. And thank you guys so much for still subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. And hopefully from this video, you guys could go out and get those products because it's lit.